Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about the Play Memories app, how it connects to your Sony camera, and how you can control your camera with this handy dandy application. Hi everybody, I'm Curtis Hustis with CurtisHustisPhotography.com where you can learn to improve your photography skills and your video skills. Now, this video is spurned by a question that was asked by Kim Rickolt. Thanks for the informative video. I'm trying to tether my iPad to my A7R2 but can't find a micro USB to fit. Any suggestions? I really only want to use it as a field monitor on location especially to preview my shots. Don't care about downloading the files to the iPad. Is this even possible? Thanks in advance. So I suggested that Kim use the Play Memories app and that's what's spurning this video. Um, and uh, there's some common mis misconception. Uh, she didn't know how to do it. So this is basically how to use your iPad with your Sony camera. And so, as I said before, this app will work with any Sony camera that is Wi-Fi enabled and has the play memories or the application on it. Okay, so that being said, let's go to the camera and take a look. So here we have my A7R2. This is the back of it. Uh, and you're seeing my messy couch and you can probably see my dog on the couch. But, uh, so what we're gonna have to do to start this is we're gonna have to go into the application. So we select menu, first of all. Okay, and then we go over to our applications list. So we're gonna have to go, there is our camera, and then here's applications. So then we wanna scroll down to application list. So this shows us our application list. Now this is where you can find programs that maybe you've downloaded, like I downloaded the Sky HDR program, the time-lapse program, because I wanted to shoot some time-lapse, uh, mostly for just giggles. Um, now you see where it says Play Memories Camera Apps. You do not want that. So if you select the Play Memories Camera Apps, that's basically allowing you to go into the Play Memory Store and purchase some sort of uh, whatever, this, whatever applications you want. Like I have the Sky HDR and the Time Lapse program. I can purchase those. I can also use it to upgrade the remote control. So now, since I don't want to do that, uh, I basically want to go into Smart Remote Control. Okay, so Smart Remote Control, I'm going to go ahead and select that. So now let's go ahead and starting. So what's happening now is the camera has started its own Wi-Fi network. So this is not dependent upon uh, an existing Wi-Fi network. It is creating its own Wi-Fi network. So in the, on the camera, we went to the application list and we went ahead to go to Smart Remote Control. And the Start, start Remote Control has started. It created the Wi-Fi network. So now we have to do is we have to tell the iPad that we need to connect to that network. Right now it's connected to my home network. It shows everything that's um, available. The network that I want will show as Direct-DZ01, DZEO, colon ILCE 7RM2, so this one here. I select that. It'll show connecting on the camera. And at this point, I have to get out of here. I have to go to my Play Memories app, start my Play Memories app, and it'll automatically connect to the camera. So there's my camera. So with the application itself, you can control the settings of the camera. Now, if you have the camera handy, you can also just adjust settings on the camera itself. You know, if your hands on it, uh, you want to change it. You can see I'm, I'm adjusting the camera. I'm changing settings from bulb mode to uh, timed exposure. I can change the f-stop, but I can also do that via the slider bar or the touch, okay? I can change the f-stop same way, or I can use the touch bar, or the arrows. I can also change the ISO 
to auto, to fast, whatever I want. Okay, I can also use the touch. I can also adjust manual focus modes from single to continuous. I can do continuous shooting, so I can do burst shooting. Uh, I can set the timer on or off. I can play image reference. On the menu key, I can do all different kinds of things. I can do the self timer. I can do all this stuff too. And you just have to kind of explore and play with the app. Okay. So right now I'm showing eight seconds, but let's just say I want to put it in bulb. Just slide that all the way down to bulb. Bulb is here. Nice. I can slide it over. Slide back. And then it'll transfer the image to my computer. And there's my messy countertop. And my wife was going to love the fact that I showed you my messy countertop. Okay. There are some things that you have to do to get the, let's say you want to shoot in raw or let's say you want to shoot in JPEG. You have to set the camera up. Once you're in, once you're in this app, you again select menu. So the first selection is to exit the app. We do not want that. So we scroll over. So here's the image size. So I can say I will want to change the image size. Now the image size, large, medium, and small, only affects the JPEGs. So let's say I select small, and then my aspect ratio. If I want 16 by 9 or 3 by 2. The quality, I'm going to go down to quality. I can select raw and JPEG. I can select extra fine, fine, or standard. I'm going to leave it raw and JPEG. I always shoot in raw. JPEGs are only good for previews. And then drive mode. I can select single shooting, low, high, whatever I want. I can do a time delay or single shooting. Okay, so I'm going to go back into my menu. And then I'm going to go to three. Now this will give me my flash mode. So if I'm using a flash, I can adjust my flash, slow sync, rear sync, whatever I want, uh, or just to fill flash. I can go back in here to my menu, flash compensation. Right now I've got it in manual focus. Uh, wide area doesn't really matter because it's, it's uh, in uh, manual focus, but I can change that too. I can change the focus area to wide, center, flexible spot, but I'm not doing that. Uh, and then I'm going to go into metering mode, white balance. Everything's on manual right now, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, focus magnifier. I can select that if I want to. Face detection, silent shooting is off. So silent shooting is nice. Maybe you're doing some wildlife, you're setting up your camera remotely and you want to shoot maybe a squirrel or something, you know, um, uh, catching uh, peanuts or something and you don't want the camera to uh, make a noise to scare it away, uh, you can select that as well. So once I have all my settings set, I hit my menu again and then we're back to the iPad. Okay, so that's basically how do you use Play Memories. Now the Play Memories app and the Wi-Fi function on the camera are really that easy. It always seems to work. I've never had a problem connecting with it and it works well. The distance you get from the phone and your camera may vary. It depends on the environment, how far away you can get it through, if you're going through walls, doors, whatever. So just keep that in mind. I'm not quite sure how far away you'll be able to get with your iPad or iPhone or Android phone. But if you're relatively close, it seems to work really, really well. The only thing you can't do with this is you can't run the Play Memories app and tether to your computer. As soon as you plug it into the computer, it disconnects the Play Memories app. So ideally for me, I like to do light sculpting and I like to use the bulb mode and then I preview the images in Capture One. I would love to be able to trigger the camera in bulb mode from my phone, but it won't let me because as soon as I plug it into the computer, it shuts it off 
It's either one or the other. In about a week or so, I'm going to be reviewing a device called CamFi, which enables me to tether wirelessly to the computer. And we'll see if it works better that way. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any comments or suggestions, please put them in the comments or suggestions below. I would appreciate a thumbs up. I'd appreciate a share. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Thanks, everybody. I really appreciate you spending your time with me, and we'll see you next time.